Okay, hopefully everybody can see and hear me. My um, computer decided it didn't want to work. So here I am on my phone. <laughs> so um, we'll just uh, find out where my phone camera is because I have not done this on my phone before. So now I can look directly into the camera because I have no idea where the phone is, where the, the, the uh, t camera starts. But anyway, I'm just going to go and try it and hopefully I'm on and everything's, oh, what people are waving at me. I'm actually live. It's working. I'm so thrilled. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm Karen Davidson. If you don't know that, I'm from howtotap.com. I've been around forever and ever and ever in the tapping field, which I'm thrilled with. Um, I also have another website called, called KarenCalendar.com because people want a, an easy way to find me and that was the easiest way to, I think, that I could think of. So we're going to work on this. Uh, now you're going to see me be very happy here uh, because I think this is so scary and so upsetting and so hurtful that I think we need a little bit of happy in this time and area. So um, in between when I'm tapping uh, on the terrible stuff, to get rid of it, uh, which is what we do with the tapping. Uh, you'll see me maybe joke around a little bit. So here's my bear. So he has a dynam, right? Everybody knows the tappy bear and magic buttons bear. So if you don't want to tap on your face, you can tap here or you can um, tap, you know, because it's energy, you can just tap along the side of it. All these people are waving at me. It's so nice. Um, now, people typed in their fears uh, for me before I got on, so I appreciate that. And uh, so if what you hear is not quite yours, I want you to rem remind you of something, that um, that your mind is like a Google search engine. And if somebody's talking about their uncle or something like that, and your uncle never did anything like that or wasn't like that, I'm sure your mind will Google, well, I know somebody like that, like my dad or my best friend was like that. And so your mind will go out to those people and um, you can tap on that and it will help that as well. That's what's great about uh, EFT. And at the very end, I'm going to give you an energetic protection technique that you can use for yourself and for those you love or even with someone you might be in contact with some reason. So I'll wait till the end to do that. And also we're going to go through three tiers, uh, which is similar, similar to Pat Carrington, bless her heart's choices method. So you'll get mostly the negative in the beginning, then in between the choosing and um, what you would like. Okay, so first I'm going to do, also uh, give me one second, I'm going to put a healing sphere on uh, all of those, all of us on the live broadcast and on the replay. One second. And for anyone who joins us later. Okay, now first I'd like you to do a couple things before we begin. I want you to, there's a portals in your palms, energy areas. I want you to put your hands, your palms on something inanimate. Okay, it can be your desk, it can be your chair, it can be anything else, not a computer, nothing electrical, not, not anything like a body. Oh, people are still waving to me, I love it. So now please close your eyes and please repeat after me, anything that is not mine or I don't need is leaving me now. And breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. We'll do that two more times. Anything that is not mine or I don't need is leaving me now. And do you notice? One more time. You'll feel yourself relaxing. Anything that is not mine or I don't need is leaving me now. And please keep your eyes closed and repeat after me. I now command all of us to be connected and aligned to the only true source now in love, light, and truth and the highest and best good of all involved. And one more. I am of source. I ground myself to the earth. I accept this healing for my highest good in all dimensions, planes, and timelines. I thank you and send my unconditional love. I'm grateful. Thank you. Together divine. And breathe into your nose out through your mouth. Of course, if you don't like any words I say or anything I'm doing, you don't have to do it. And the one last thing is um, don't worry about following my, uh, I know I'm not supposed to touch my eyes, but I'm in, indoors. Uh, I'm uh, following along my own points. You can 
tap on whatever point you want. If you start feeling overwhelmed, you know, you just keep tapping on what you need. Uh, Penny was yesterday. She did a great job of telling you the best way to do it if you start getting overwhelmed is to start looking at something and naming its color. She did a great job on that. Uh, so uh, if you've tapped with her, you understand that. And I won't have to go into it. So again, remember that I'm going to be working with other people's uh, who wrote in first. So let's start tapping on the side of the hand, please. And here we go. Even though I'm trying to protect myself as best I can, I can never be certain. It seems to be all over the place. I don't think I can do this. I feel like hiding under a table. I don't want to talk to people. I might breathe on them. They might spit at me. Some bubble's going to drip through the air and land on me because this virus isn't, seems insane and I'm scared. But right here, right now, I'm okay, even if I don't feel like it. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. At least I think I am. I'm trying to follow the rules. I'm trying to stay inside. Even though it gets so hard sometimes. And honestly, sometimes I like it. But sometimes I feel all alone. And it's hard for me when I get scared. And maybe now is the time I'm allowed to be a scared, afraid. I have, ev I have every darn good reason for being afraid. This is not like I'll catch a cold. I could die. I could cause other people to die. I can't do that. Please help me. I don't know what to do. And nobody will listen. So many people out there not listening. They're out there partying. There's takeout booze in New York. People are going to parks and having barbecues. What's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? It's not just about them. They could hurt others. Why don't they care? I wonder if it's possible that they're so scared that they ignore it. I wonder if it's possible if that they're so scared the only thing they can do is think they're invincible. But that doesn't help me. Doesn't help my mom. Doesn't help my children. They could be hurting us. I don't care if they're scared. Well, there's a part of me that does. And there's a part of me that thinks that they deserve to at least catch it. Maybe not die. But that'll show them. Well, now that I've gotten that out of my way, I really don't wish that. Even if a part of me does. I choose to look at that part and accept it and say thank you part for trying to keep me safe but I'm gonna be okay even if I don't think I am and even though I don't think I am there's a faith in me somewhere and a trust in me somewhere and a trust in all that is somewhere that says I'm gonna be okay because I'm following the rules and I can keep myself safe. I have before and I can do it again. I wonder what I can say to those people. If I have to go out to the grocery store and everybody's looking at all the fruit, touching it everywhere, or coming into my space, 
I wonder what I could say. I could yell at them. I could send them evil thoughts. Or maybe I could just say, excuse me, are you done yet? I love my family and I'm keeping them safe. So I'm following the rules. And it'll keep you safe too. And you can try. And I can try. And maybe it'll help. I can do that. It bothers me that no one's is listening. I know all the rules. I know that it takes three hours for the virus to go inert on, I'm going to read it, on fabric, four hours on wood, 24 hours on cardboard. Oh no, all those Amazon packages. 42 hours on metal. And 72 hours on plastic. But that's the point. This is just a virus. It's not bacteria. It's not alive. It's not out to get me even though I think it is sometimes. It's just a piece of protein floating around on the, and landing, because thank goodness it doesn't float. And it sits there with its little fat layered covering until somebody picks it up. And then guess what? Soap and hot water. I can do that. I can try to tell my family. I can try to tell those I love. Maybe Karen will post that on Facebook. I think she will. And I'm afraid for my family. I'm doing everything I can, but what about my family? I can think of what my mom and dad are doing that's wrong. Or someone I love that's wrong. That'll put them in danger. And I'm thinking of where I feel this in my body. And what it feels like. And it, and it might be a pressure in my chest. Or a pain in my back. Or hurting behind my eyes or soreness, the back of my neck. Wherever it is I choose now to turn that fear into black smoke and to let that black smoke rise out of me and let the angels, guides, and teachers, and loved ones and God take that to the recycling bin in the universe and change it to good energy. And I choose now to send them love and peace and protection. And maybe when they're doing what they're not supposed to do and putting them in danger, this love that I'm sending them, this protection that I'm sending them will make them realize they're about to touch something they shouldn't or remind them to wash their hands or to spray alcohol on their wallet or to wipe their doorknob or be careful with their packages or to wear gloves by me sending them love and peace because we all know what fear does it's called the law of attraction. And I don't want to track that for me or anybody. And I choose now to let that go. And I choose now to breathe in peace, love, knowledge, and then breathe out fear, pain, hurt, 
worry, bitterness. Breathe in helpfulness, love, knowledge, peace, relaxation, and breathe out panic, fear, any negative emotions surrounding this. And anywhere that I'm feeling this negative emotion, I now choose to release that too. Because I can keep myself safe no matter what others do. They are people. They have a right to be stupid. If they want to be. Maybe they don't know they're being stupid. I certainly think they're being stupid. But people are people. Maybe I'll tap for them. Because the longer they're stupid, and the less they follow the rules, the longer it's going to be. And I'm tired of this. I choose now to pick a picture in my mind. Any kind of picture. Of people being happy in their home. Connecting with family over things like Facebook or Skype and their friends with WhatsApp or any program or application they want. Or to binge on Netflix or take the time to clean their house. Gee, I should do that, shouldn't I? Because I'm safe here. And I can keep myself safe, even if I don't believe it. I can do this. And all my helpers, guides, teachers, masters, angels, and God, source, are here to help me. And no matter what the news says, I like my supplements. It helps my immune system. Or I'll listen to it and not take my supplements. Because see, it's my choice. And I choose to stay safe. And I'm going to take that picture of something wonderful and nice. Maybe it's a rainbow. Maybe it's a smiley face. Maybe it's a picture of my dog in my head. Maybe it's a picture of a waterfall. And every time I look at that one picture, I'm going to see the virus calm down, people happy, me happy and safe. That picture can get people through my energy to calm down and be peaceful. And following the rules that aren't so hard. This virus is not some unknown chemical floating around in the air. It's a little tiny molecule that's protein covered with fat. It just gets really strong and nasty when it gets in the body. It does all kinds of things. So we just won't let it do that. Because we have ways to protect ourselves. And I have ways to protect myself. And I have ways to protect my family. And I'm actually kind of excited about that. Because when the unknown was here, it was really scary. But now it's a virus, and I know about it. And I can keep myself safe. And I send good vibes out to all those poor people who've already gotten it. And who are on ventilators and who are struggling. And I also send out love and peace to all those people who don't know as much as I do about the virus and are still scared and don't have tapping. 
and don't have someone they love here in their house. And I send out good vibes to them. And those good healing vibes will reflect back to me. We can do this together. We can do this. I can do this. And I'm grateful that I can do this. And now I'd like to take everyone, everyone's hand and put it on your chest here. I'll take your two fingers and put it on your gamut point. And close your eyes for me, please, and say, there are parts of me that have been healed by this. And there are parts of me that haven't been healed. And those parts are willing to learn from the parts that have been healed. My mind, body, spirit, and energy system are receiving that information now new neural pathways. That information transfer is complete. I'm grateful. Thank you. Together divine. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. And breathe two more times like that. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. I got that from Donna Eden. She says there's 36 reasons why you want to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. I don't remember any of them. I just know that I'm supposed to do that, and it works. Please remember to um, click on the link for, uh, I, let me find out what it is. It's on, the, it's on the front page of the Facebook group, the Tapathon group for Just Living for Doctors Without Borders. If you can do donate anything, as much as even a dollar. And um, I'm Karen Davidson from howtotap.com and karencalendar.com. And I'm now going to tell you, as promised, that um, what we're going to do is you close your eyes and you're going to, don't laugh at me, <laughs> actually you can. What I'd like you to do is per, look at a hazmat suit, you know, the hazard waste suits that you, or space suit or something like that. And what you do is energetically visualize this. The best is for some reason, if you want, you can email me and I'll tell you why. It's pink. You don't like pink and you want any other color, you want it to be golden light, that's fine too. But just picture a hazmat suit. And what you're going to do is it's a divine hazmat suit. And you're going to step into it and it's going to close all the way around you. Some people have said to me that it feels heavy at first, but just breathe through it a little bit. And because it's invisible and energy, it'll just adjust to you. And what that hazmat suit does is what a hazmat suit does. It doesn't let anything out, but also you can put it on people you're working with or that they're sitting across for you that in the grocery store that you think is just a little too close and you can give them a hazmat suit so they can't get what they have on you and whatever else is around, you're also doing them a favor because they can't get it from them onto the, them either because they have the hazmat suit. And you only have to re rege regenerate it every morning. So you can say regenerize or regenerize, is that a word? <laughs> Reignite or re-energize or whatever you want to, you know, about the hazmat suit and it will do that. And so I highly suggest that you do that every morning for now. And also I have a general protection that you should do once a day. It's a five second protection routine. And um, I'll put the, uh, the URL to that in the Facebook group under either this live, if I can get back into it, or I'll post it um, on my own uh, somewhere in, in the Facebook group. So thank you so much, everyone. Uh, God bless you. Have a, have a wonderful time with your puppies and your children while you're in. I know sometimes kids can be rough, uh, but stay safe. The curve is flattening. We can do this. God bless you.